Welcome again back to Yochi Kachi Spoken Word uh, Awakening Moment Podcast. Today's episode is going to be really interesting. I'm going to go into uh, some details about my awakening moment. When I say awakening moment, uh, true realization that came to me um, through a particular experience that propelled my internal internal being my soul my mind and my mind and body on a different level of awakeness right everybody's awakening uh waking a moment or that moment in life that felt like wow this is phenomenal right so i'm gonna actually go through my um moment which is really fascinating for some and some be like wow this is insane the, what I'm going to tell you, um, this experience is not, I was not the only one was there. The Len, amazing individual, beautiful soul, um, that she was my past wife uh, when I was married. And also my family was there to actually see all this as everything unfold. So let me get into it again. So welcome to Yochi Conscious Spoken Word uh, Awakening Moment Podcast. You can find us on Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, and also um, an all streaming platform. And we sell merchandise from Yochi Hill Line Merchandise to BK Streetwear. All right, so let's get into Awakening Moment Podcast. And the um, title is A Dead Man Tell No Tale, which we're going to change that. Okay. The title of Dead Man Tell No Tale is my experience. So my experience uh, of awakening in a moment is something severe happened in my life that created a traumatized moment within that moment of tra- traumatized moment that changed everything is that what I remember is actually when the ambulance came and the paramedics came into the room and they're saying, oh man, we gotta rush him to the hospital. His heart rate is dropping. Um, He's getting cold, he's getting the cold shiver. His body is is literally uh, leaving this physical realm. So I remember them rushing me to the the ambulance. And within the process, I remember remembering the process of actually rushing me, putting me on the bed. I actually don't remember them actually lifting me up off the couch and putting me on the bed. I, I don't remember all of that. But what I do remember is that as I went around the corner and they're wheeling me down on the bed or into the ambulance, as I got into the ambulance, I remember two individuals standing next to me. I'm not sure if male or female. And as I go into the ambulance, and at that moment, I felt a shift in my body. I literally felt the shift. I felt my soul literally transcending and ascending to a different level. Um, it's like almost like the Jacob's Ladder. As I, in that um, state of mind, I saw my soul literally leaving and moving upwards as it moves upward. And as it moves upward, all I could see is my soul actually spiraling in a circle all the way up as a spiral all the way up i saw myself in the midst of like multiple angels angels above around um we all call them angel because it's the best way to describe it and in this way you can understand so there's angels floating above and they're going in a circle as they move up the circle and all of a sudden i saw this gateway this huge cloud this huge white cloud i could actually visualize it right now a huge cloud that i spiral up and as i spiral up i I could actually see my soul moving around going in through that gateway so as my move up to the gateway the cloud was majestic purple like a majestic purple like it's unbelievable purple the the inner part was white so i'm actually visualizing and explaining so the inner part of it was white and all I remember was this gold circle is moving around. And I actually saw myself with wings. This floating up, floating around. In that process of floating around, so I guess I'm at the hospital, getting to the hospital. They rushed me into the into the emergency room. Okay, he's his his heart rate is dropping. Everything's going out. His body's ready to shut down. So I remember him taken into the um the room. And the lady goes, oh my God, we have to give him a catheter. We have to give him a catheter. So this way, 
so we could figure out what's going on. So they did the catheter that shit hurts like a mother, right? My, my language, that, that hurt. So they give the catheter and then while they're doing that in the catheter, I remember them saying to Len at the moment, you need to call his family and tell him, tell them that they need to come and say his goodbye because he's not going to make it based on what is in the system because whatever is in the system is actually shutting down his blood he's going to shut down his heart he's going to have internal bleeding and everything is going to naturally shut down in a, a quick manner so let's let's call everybody so they can say their goodbye and also to make funeral arrangement and i'm hearing bits and pieces i hear a crying i hear sob that what i could hear but while I was there and they put the catheter in which was hurt like hell um so they put that in and then all I remember was my body just dropped right into the um right into the the bed itself and then my body went and I just say wow my ostrich body ascend again right so it was in the first time when I was in the the, the ambulance and it somehow it came back and it send again while it was in the bed. So as I send the second time, so it's the second time crossing over in one shot. So the second time I cross over and then when we're ready to cross over, I remember walking up this, this ramp. So as I walk up the ramp, it looks like a stargate, it was a huge stargate. And within that stargate, it was the, the, the ramp going up, it goes up, it goes up. And as I got to the gate, right? I remember seeing my dad. I remember seeing my dad clear as ever. So remember my dad died when I was 12. So I haven't 11, 12. So he died um, back when I was in Jamaica. So when that happened, it was trauma. It was a traumatic moment. So anyway, so climb up the ramp and I meet him at the gate. So as I meet him at the gate, I remember seeing particular symbols around this stargate. So the Stargate had, like, you know the movie Stargate, so it's a symbol all the way around. And each one of those symbols were connected. It's just like you'll see the Yokshi Hill and Arts, the symbol, those particular letters, not the wording, but it had the, the Y, O, K, C, H, I. So really what it was is it actually flipped. The K was actually flipped and it looked like a lantern, rep represents illumination in the, the Celtic language or root. So by, when I seen them, it literally just draw me and I'm like, yes, I'm finally going to cross over to the other side where I can spend time with my dad. But then the process is that, is that that was not the process. So my dad literally says, you're not ready to be here. We don't want you here. We have things for you to do. So in that process, I'm actually speaking to my dad, but if my dad comes in a different form or shape, could be the divine himself speaking through my dad. So this way I'm able to understand what the next step is. So he says, no, we need to send you back. We're gonna send you back to make sure we are gonna do the things that we need you to do, right? And again, we said, dead man tell no tale. So within that process, the dead man is telling a tale because I'm telling you the tale of my near-death experience where I actually transcend twice in one sitting and so I, they send me back and as they send me back I find myself going through that state like I'm like floating back and then I shift over to where I saw the Jacob's Ladder everybody knows the Jacob Ladder where I saw my, my internal system my spirit my being actually transcending circling all the way back down all the way back down so i literally saw this golden ladder going up the first time and then the second time the same golden ladder circling back down so it's literally sending my soul back into my body so when they send my soul right back into my body i woke up i was like whoa what's going on so i woke up on the bed wide awake like whoa okay so i'm in the hospital something severely happened and at that moment when they run the test to see this whatever is in my system how it was going to shut down my organs and everything and literally damage the internal system when they run that test after they couldn't find anything in my system not one thing up to this day um they still never found anything so i was monitored for about uh 68 months to make sure that Everything in my system wasn't clotting, my stomach digestion wasn't breaking down, I'm not internally bleeding. 
So after that, after those peer, they, I did my, they, they test me out and make sure this was good. But when everybody came and they're like, okay, well, we got the call. They're like, yeah, we got a call. But when he came in, all the, he's about, death was right there to take him over. The Grim Reaper came to pick him up. But somehow the Grim Reaper must have left because it wasn't his time. And nothing was in my system when they run the test after, right? So that alone is one of my, I call it my awakening moment or true realization that there is things beyond um, the physical realm of what we believe internally, externally, whatever it is, there's always going to be a spirit guide because a dead man tells no tale. But in this case, this dead man is telling you a tale of his uh, after like um, near death experience that propel his life in a different format. So after that, getting out of the hospital, did the test, and going home, my life literally did spin because. That's all I had in my system, understanding that I had a huge purpose to be able to help others, help them with healing, and tell a story um, of what I went through, which took me many, many years to be able to tell this story. So, um, so I told, I'm sharing this on the podcast to realize to show people that there's things that you can do for healing and adjusting because we all have a bigger purpose and in that bigger purpose her spiritual guide or ancient ancestors or um passing um family member will always guide us in the right direction you yourself just have to be open to understand that moment when you actually that waking a moment when everything switch and points you in the right direction and connect with it Right, so that was my biggest awakening moment of realization that there's things beyond uh, all of us, and there's always they're always gonna be here to connect with us. Right, so again, thank you for listening. Um, look up for the second episode. I'm gonna talk about um, hypnosis. We're gonna talk about hypnosis, age regression, how you could literally um, go back through the age regression and understand how you could find that awakening moment because sometimes those awakening moment happen at a younger age but we forget what the, the awakening moment is at a younger age so we're gonna i'm gonna talk about how to use a uh, time telling technique how to pre-regress back to a younger age so this way you could connect yourself with that awakening moment that maybe transcends your life as a, a younger a younger child and now propel it forward so please listen out for the second uh episode of um a dead man tell no tale because it's going to be interesting i'm going to give you some pointers some tips on how to do it um and how to actually self-hypnose yourself to be able to get to that thanks again yoke Kacha spoken word out and you can find us on all streaming platform from youtube facebook linkedin and please subscribe and as in spotify Hit us up.